This thing can speed up your computer. Let me show you how. Wait, wait. Before we start, there's something I really gotta tell you guys. All right, so to the people coming from the old video, I need to say this real quick. This will not increase literal RAM on your computer. But what it will do though, is it will give your computer a dedicated space to dump system files to, so that if your computer lacks such space, then it will give you guys a much needed speed boost. All right, that's it. Let's get back to the video. All right, so for this tutorial, we're going old school, guys. Remember this thing? So the reason I need to use this computer instead of my old one is because of comments like these. My PC is already fast. This computer's too fast, which is why I need to use this one. So the way this works is from a feature in any version of Windows post 7 called Ready Boost. Yeah, it's totally the corniest name in the world, but we forgive you Microsoft. And it will work with a USB stick or an SD card. I, I really want to make that clear. Okay, I've said that, now let's get to the tutorial. So to start, obviously put your USB stick or SD card into your computer and the rest will be done on the computer itself. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do this, just know that you need to move anything important that's on the drive to a safe location on your computer because we'll be formatting the drive as the first step. Okay, so once the drive is recognized, go ahead and right click the directory and format it. Now again, this will delete everything, so make sure you've copied everything important to a safe spot. Then after that, open up the drive, right click any empty space, and open properties. Now it should be pretty self-explanatory on where to go from here, but just in case it's not, go to the Ready Boost menu, tick the Use This Device button, and then adjust the slider underneath which will determine how much of the drive you want Windows to use for Ready Boost. And then finally, of course, click Apply to Finish. So that's it. That's how you add RAM to your computer using a USB stick. Now, what I'm gonna be doing for the next few minutes here is just basically answering a couple of common questions that you guys had on the last video because I got a lot of the same thing and I just wanted to maybe alleviate some of your concerns or questions uh, just to maybe clear things up a bit. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so the first question that I got a lot of um, went along the lines of this. Can you take the drive out while it's in use or basically while Ready Boost is up and running. And uh, the answer to that is yes, you can take it in and out at will whenever you want when Ready Boost is in use or not in use. It really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you won't corrupt anything by doing that. So yeah, feel free to take it out whenever you want. So here, here's a question that I got probably the most. Does it increase gaming performance, video editing performance, or just general computer performance? And uh, the answer to that is it really depends on your computer. Like for me with my old computer, it really increased performance by a lot in pretty much all fields. Now for my current computer, it's just way too fast. It's got like 16 gigs of RAM, uh, an SSD, an i7, all that stuff. So I would not even see a performance boost if I did install Ready Boost at all because it won't even let me. But for the older, slower computers out there, I would say you would generally see increased performance across the board. All right, so here's another one that I got a lot of as well. Can you use a 16 gig stick, an eight gig stick, a 32 gig stick, a 64 gig stick, a one terabyte stick, whatever? And the answer to that is yes, you can, because this isn't literal RAM. As I said before, it creates a paging file. So it really doesn't matter what the size is as long as it's a USB stick or an SD card. I got a few comments asking me if a hard drive would work and I don't think hard drives work. I'm pretty sure it has to be flash memory, um, but a flash drive, which would be USB or SD of any size should work just fine. But I guess the main thing that I wanna wrap up with here is that the original video was a little bit misleading. This won't actually add literal RAM DIMMs to your computer, but it will create, as I said before, a dedicated space for your computer to dump files to, which acts as though it were RAM. So I just wanna clear that up. And that's it. If you came from the previous video, then hopefully you got all your questions answered and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video for all the subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay inspired and I'll see you guys later.